We live in an egg world, soon to hatch. USN soldiers were no match for our super pilot Zana. Relieved that we had escaped USN patrol, we rejoiced. Yeah, Zana, you are awesome! Great aiming, you two! We compliment each other. The location to finally deliver the cargo was close. Dora asks, what is our position on the coordinates? Medeo responds, it's about 120,000 kilometers. We'll be there in 30 minutes, starting to slow down now. However, the radar already gives us an indication of a large object. We're still not close enough to look out the cockpit window to see it. The onboard computer marks the object as an egg world. I didn't even know what an egg world was, so I asked, Hey guys, what's an egg world? Dora responds, It's an artificial O'Neill structure. Usually, an O'Neill structure is cylindrical, but an egg world is a house sphere. An egg world has a more advanced design. In this structure, this world, do people live there? I ask, and Medea suggests. The best is to see some information on the internet. From these coordinates we can access a link. Let me see if I get Wi-Fi here. Hmm. I push these buttons, configure the proxy, install the repeater, nullify the ping, okay. Doris says incredulously. Hmm. We shouldn't get the signal here. Before Dory finishes what he was going to say, Mide exclaims, Okay, we have a Wi-Fi signal. And keeps going. I've already followed the link, but well, the internet is a little slow here. Ah, uh, it is, it's a wiki page. Hmm. It says, Tavis One. Tavis One is an egg world built by Tavis Corp in the year 2985. After humanity established itself on planet Mars by building several colonies and infrastructures. The Sul Sigordi Treaty was signed shortly thereafter, which aimed to accelerate the expansion and colonization of the outer solar system, so Tavis Corp was responsible for building a generation ship since advanced propulsion technology was not available at the time, making the actual spaceflight not feasible for colonization. As Tavis 1 is an O'Neill type structure, it has artificial gravity provided by centrifugal force due to rotation on its longitudinal axis. It would be ideal for housing a good quality human habitat for several generations. And so, over the centuries, the outer planets could be established and colonized. It would be transported by hundreds of carriers connected by cables, giving a starting drive for the structure to sail through space by inertia. However, Erebus Enterprise, which was already secretly developing a more advanced propulsion technology, reached the outer planets within hours, demonstrating that the Tavis Corp project was obsolete. Thus, Tavis Corp went bankrupt and became extinct. A mega corporation has fallen leading to a new monopoly headed by Erebus with their technology. As interplanetary propulsion became more efficient, the idea of the generation ship became uninteresting. However, Davis One Eggworld got the new purpose. Being under the jurisdiction of the Martian government, it was decided that Davis One was a high security prison. But since the destructive assault in the year 3211 to release notorious criminals, Tavis One has been rendered non-operational and now considered to be only a derelict world. And that's all, concludes Medea.
Meanwhile, the structure floating gracefully in space was already visible in front of us. Kinda like half an egg, where you could see the interior habitat from afar, protected by a giant glass shield. Our ship was on autopilot and was heading for a portal in the backyard, opposed to the giant window. slowly opening so that we can enter. As soon as the space portal closed, a second door opened that allowed us to be in direct contact with the atmosphere of Tavis-1 and so the ship switched to the atmospheric mode of flight. We slowly descended to the daytime side. The relief of the landscape became increasingly evident, such as certain buildings and structures, once prisons in complete ruin. Our ship is approaching coordinates that have been programmed by someone. The ship lands and the thrusters shut down. We have arrived, says Dore, and continues. Get ready to leave. Get ready and bring the cargo out. Someone will come to us to give us the reward.